Light rain beginning to fall here in Boulder Creek in the Santa Cruz Mountains ahead of what could be a monster storm as some people are defying evacuation orders while others are going to ride it out. The proverbial calm before the storm had mountain residents for the second day in a row stocking up on gasoline and groceries here in Boulder Creek as many people are heeding evacuation orders while others, like Bruce Baker, are staying put. By all rights, I should evacuate, but I have some saw skills and I can uh, help the emergency responders open roads. I have my tractor. Some 5,000 people in Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, Felden, and Bonnie Dune, whose homes are in areas burned in last summer's CZU wildfires, are under evacuation orders. Hard hit Alba Road and other fire ravaged areas are at risk for debris flows and mudslides amid a forecast calling for as much as 8 to 12 inches of rain over the next few days. Debris flows tend to happen at the top of steep drainages like this one here off Empire Grade Road. You can see that all of the vegetation is gone here. Nothing left but maybe two to three inches of ash. You get heavy rain on top of that and it just all lets loose and heads down the mountain. Boulder Creek resident Richard Brown lives at the bottom of one such drainage and headed for the evacuation center here at San Lorenzo Valley High School in Felton. We're going to do what the, show, the sheriff said, evacuate. Go to the Red Cross, maybe they can help you with the motel room or something, but at least get out of the danger zone because, you know, you're, you're kind of stupid if you stay, you know. Some 30 sheriff's deputies are now in the mountains alerting people about the evacuation orders. At least 10 will stay behind watching for looters. Rob Flatabo, News Nation, Boulder Creek, California.